his opponents, especially his Korean opponents, and just made a couple of small mistakes in the late game that allowed oh, wow. people to take games off of him. And it looks like, guys, we have a little bit of a gas first scenario. From but both here's, players. Exactly. That's what's interesting. So gas first versus gas first. I wonder if both players are anticipating potential close by air positions that are going fast Banshees, or if we're going to be seeing fast reactor Hellions. Now, the point of going gas first, if you are going for a Hellion kind of build, is by the time the barracks finishes, which you will see for both players, 100 gas will be available so the factory can go down without delay. Uh, I really feel that unless we see the second gas here, it's probably going to be Cloakless Banshee expands from both these players. It's a great map for it. Close by air. You can apply that pressure. Just get out of there. It all depends on the, the reactor Hellions is a good choice. Um, and will we see that second gas? If we see a second gas from either of the players, they're wanting to go for a heavy one base style Well, they play. didn't know that they were close by air to each other until now when Illusion scouts STX. So Illusion is going to see that everything uh, is going... In fact, he's actually going to amusingly see that the exact same build is coming up from STX. And look at that, guys. 100 gas completely ready for both players. The factory going down as soon as the barracks completes. And this, this is good for Illusion. He has time to react. If he's going for the gasless expansion build, what would you do in this situation? He scouts that there's no second gas. He doesn't see an add-on on the barracks. He assuming it's the same build, would you go Viking first in this situation, or would you still well, go for your Banshee? Here's where, here's where I think the Jinro build comes into play. Uh, w w I found out about this first by casting the Esports Weekly match when we saw Jinro yes. do this on the Korean server, where he went Viking first and followed up with an immediate Raven. Because these kind of builds where you open with the Banshee, are really susceptible to any build that allows the other player to establish air dominance. And with a Viking and Raven that early on, not only can you establish Banshee air dominance with that both. point... Uh, yeah, not only can you establish that point defense drone very early on, but if they don't do anything about it, you start dropping auto turrets in the mineral line and all sorts of fun stuff. So I wonder if that's what we're going to be seeing here out of... Uh, out of illusion now that he sees that STX is actually going for that build. STX has not scouted. I don't even think nope. he's left his base. He has he no hasn't. clue where illusion is. He has no clue what his build is. We're seeing the same thing from both players. It's going to be the Cloakless Banshee build. We'll be seeing the build on their CC as well as maybe soon. Um, I'm curious as to what the follow-up is going to be, though. What would you do in this position, Jorsar? And Banshee's coming out for one player and both players. Okay, this surprised me a little bit. I would have thought that Illusion would have seen this and decided to go for a Viking, but apparently he thinks I, I that think he feels he can get the Viking yeah. out before his, ba his opponent's Banshee gets here. Uh, uh, that could be possible. I mean, the Banshee from the STX actually is slightly faster than the Banshee from Illusion. Maybe he'll get the Viking out in time. We're just going to have to wait and see. The crucial thing is making sure that the Viking gets started immediately after the Banshee finishes. Yeah, this, this is a weird, weird time. And now we're going to be seeing that STX is going for that CC very, very soon. He's already pulled the tournament. There it goes down. So he's going to be skipping the Viking probably, where... Quantic Illusion, he's not showing anything. He doesn't have any pulled minerals. He's hmm. constantly building Hellions and, and uh, Marines. And there's the bike Viking being queued up like we talked about from both players. And it's important to note that actually STX hasn't scouted what Illusion has at all. Do the Banshees see? Yes, the Banshees briefly see each other. So they're like, oh, hi. Are yeah, you out to do the same bump. thing? Exactly. Uh, but... The Viking actually coming out blindly from STX despite not scouting Illusion's build, and I think that's crucial. Oh. It means that Illusion... Oh, we do have a little bit of lag yeah, there. Let's that's make not sure. Good. Do we need to pause the game? No, it looks like everything is going to be yeah. fine. The Banshees are now doing damage to the middle line for both players. We have Marines coming out for both. Which Banshee's going to go down first? The Banshee from Illusion actually controlled better on a completely the full Vikings, health. And though. STX is going to be... Oh, there we go. The Banshee from STX now going out. But the Banshee getting... Did the Banshee get away? Uh, Illusion. Yes, he did. lost his Quantic Illusion, still has his. Nice. So the Banshee going to be able to get away from Illusion, and uh, I would say that's definitely score one to him. Well played. Hellions coming into the natural or the main base, though, for STX. Will Illusion micro these properly enough? He is not focus firing down the Hellions or the Marines like he should. You want to get them lined up. Good control from STX forces the Hellions out of here. And the thing is, STX has his command center a lot quicker than Illusion. Uh, he's getting his second gas as well. It needs to be uh, have a new SCV in it, though. It's just kind of chilling, not being built. Yep, STX uh, going for his command center a lot sooner. Like you mentioned, we have another two barracks being added from uh, Illusion here. But Illusion has put 400 minerals down on that command center. So that's important to know. It's not like he added an additional three or four barracks to this build, and he's going to go all in off one base. He's perfectly happy to go into the mid game. He didn't lose his Banshee. STX did. So uh, he just that has that much more map control know. right now. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Two Vikings and a Banshee are going to be coming in the back from Illusion right now. And what can STX do about it? Not a lot. We don't have... Uh 
Oh wow, we actually don't have turrets in the main base at the moment. These Vikings are going to be able to do so much damage, having oh. to land the Vikings as well. One of them goes down, the other one is on the ground. The Banshee is running riot here in the main base. A couple of Marines will just about chase them away, but the Banshee doing a decent amount of damage. Work is killed now 7-1 to one in Illusion's favor. He is up 31-26 overall. Uh, we do have a, launch, a, bottom, a bunch of Marines here at the natural base, though, for STX. He's already got siege tanks out. Might, he, he might be able to do the timing with Marine siege tanks that he can do a lot of damage to us. But we have to go back to that thing where Illusion has a Banshee. That's going to give him, like you said, so much map control. It's going to be a lot harder for him to engage into this. If he has a siege tanks in position, uh, I mean, he might not be able to really get past this Banshee. It, it, you just have to have that map control. And right now, Illusion has it. Mm, we do have the reactor going down on the factory here for Illusion while simultaneously making another Viking out of that starport, so they might get swapped around so we can have double Viking production. This is going to come down to potential air dominance later on, and poking up the ramp with a couple of Hellions is STX, but Illusion able to fend it off quite nicely indeed, and now three Hellions catching one out in the middle of the map. That is not going to be nice for our blue Terran player. STX, though, moving out with a decent number of Marines and two tanks. This is going to be a nice timing push. Siege Tech is is done. No, it's not. He didn't even start Siege. No, he just started. Okay. He just started. He just started Siege Tech, so it will not be done by the time he gets across the map. The Marine count's not very high, and Illusion's done a very good job of keeping his Hellions alive. So if Illusion micros these properly, he should be able to take all the Marines, and once the Marines and Vikings are done, uh, these Siege Tanks can just be taken out by that Banshee. Now, Stim is about to finish for Illusion, plus one's halfway done. I don't know if this timing's gonna work for STX. This could be tricky. He needs to be careful with his tanks. His tanks are out in front with... He needs to be so careful with them. They're technically away from everything else. The Marines doing a good job against the air units, though. And here we go. We have a stim down the ramp from Illusion. It's not going to be enough, though. SCS coming up with way too many oh, Marines. Oh, the bunker SCVs being it. pulled, and yet the SCVs do not get to... Oh, wow. They don't actually even get to repair the bunker. And look at this. No siege mode for the tanks, but they do more DPS that way. So, fair enough. The Marines going to try and hold station while the tanks get away. It looks like some of these tanks might survive. It's going to be close. No, hang on a second. Stim, Wait and these tanks are going down. Yeah, but all the tanks should fall here. Very well played. Uh, Illusion, uh, it was just a nice timing on that Stim. If Siege Mode would have fit. Oh, wow. Oh, that's what? Wow. Hero Tank, oh, 2 health. HP and 8 kills. My goodness, Illusion did not count on that. STX is probably looking at himself right now going, why didn't I turn around and shoot those guys before? Because he had two <laughs> tanks a minute ago. 8 kills on this bad wow, boy. Wow, that, awesome. that was the Jack Bauer tank. Everyone else dies. He like <laughs> runs another 5 miles. The bad guys corner him. In, jokes, and then bam, 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 bam. <laughs> shoot from the hip and everyone goes down. That was incredible. Now, STX. Wow. I have a question here. Why is Illusion not utilizing his factory? It's just floating here. He's just going to Pure Marine. So he's seen the siege tanks. He knows his opponent's going to be having siege mode soon. Pure Marine is okay if they're going Marine Marauder. Yeah. But if they have siege tanks, you have to match that number unless you're going mech. Or, I mean, unless he might be like going, going maybe if you heavy, mass heavy drop. Bio. And actually, that's what we see into the main oh, base here. Nice. We have three medevacs and a decent number of units into the main base. And don't forget that tank count from STX is down to, well, it's actually down to three at the moment. It is indeed, which may or may not include Jack Bauer tank. We'll find out in just a moment. But these bio units are getting into the mineral line. And STX losing a decent number of SCVs here, actually. Illusion doing a good job wow. with this drop. And STX basically ignoring it with his SCVs. He could have tried to run a few the of them away. The tech lab got sniped on the spares. Oh, There's no. There's still no stim. 19 still no combat to 8 workers Marines. killed as well. So the current worker count is 48 to 44 now in favor of Illusion. And he is streaming more and more units across the map. His army supply will very soon surpass that of STX at this rate because those drops did a decent amount of damage. Loading up another dropship in the middle as well. Uh, this is cool play, but I mean, with the, he has to kill off STX very, very quickly. If he's not going to be going siege tanks, you can't win with this pure marine style. Uh, he's adding on more barracks. This is this is really interesting. Maybe this is a new meta in TVT. I, I don't know. No, but one thing he has I, done. I don't really like this. The STX is now, he has a siege tanks in his base. Okay, he's finally moving them back to the natural. Uh, STX has to decide where he wants to deploy his tanks, but more importantly, he has siege mode. He's not actually sieging up the tanks defensively while he's here. I get the feeling that that's really going to allow Illusion some sort of timing. We have a decent number of medevacs going up to the top of the map now. Two of them. Yeah, we're getting PP, lag. Yep, a little bit of lag. We're just going to be waiting for 20 or 30 seconds. Uh, guys will be getting back into the game shortly. Cable left the game. I don't know who it is that's lagging. Illusion saying go. I think we might be ready. So All right. we are actually getting started. Hopefully the lag is gone. Second lag spike this game. Now, super important thing to note, by the way, that uh, 
STX is moving out across the map. He has siege tanks with him, but and he's scanning ahead as well, so he knows that those marines oh, are there. No. But the drop behind into his main base. We might be in a little bit of a base trade situation here, potentially, because there were no tanks from Illusion. STX push is so strong against this sort of play. Let's wait and find out. All the SCVs are being pulled from STX right now. Illusion not quite able to get the element of surprise he wanted there. The bio units are going to pop down in the main base here. We need to see STX stream more units possibly to his ramp so he can make a stand there, try and stop this and continue winning with his push. And STX now going to be moving in to the oh, base of the Illusion. Oh, catching the main base of uh, STX. I, I, this is going to be a base race. I don't know if it's one that Illusion can win, though. The Siege Shanks, very high number in the defensive push. He's got five on plenty of Marines here. The army in Illusion, or in STX's base, yes, it's powerful. Yes, it has stim, but this could easily be cleaned up. It's going to be a base race here. I don't know who's going to be able to win, though. We need more bunkers from STX. That is natural yes. if he wants to stop this bio force. There are only Marines here from Illusion right now, so three bunkers would be highly useful indeed for him right now, but only building one. There we go. Second one going down. In the meantime, the tank's just doing so much damage in the face of Quantic Illusion STX. Looking like he's in a good position here. At the end of the day, he is sieged up inside his opponent's base. The production structures are camped out. He just needs to slowly inch his tanks forward, and as soon as they siege up... Oh no, here we go. Illusion gonna try and break the siege line. It's really not gonna go well for him at all. And STX getting a very, very firm grip on this game. But we have Illusion moving down into the natural expansion. The last remaining Marines gonna try and get surrounded by SCVs here. It looks like the second bunker hasn't gone down yet, and we need an SCV to build that so that... The how many Marines this do we have is, left? This is Six. Uh, okay. STX has got this. I mean, yeah. he, he cleaned up the push at the natural base, pulling all his SCVs, and there's no way to stop this main siege. He's about to go all in with his SCVs. He has the Marines. He has the medevac. He's waiting for the drop to get back home. He actually is going to be trying to ferry units out of here. Uh, he wants to try and win this, but with this many siege tanks, he still has five siege tanks. Even though STX doesn't have stim, he still has a very high Marine count as well. Um, he might try and delay and try and catch STX out of position with Stim. I think if he got a good surround, he could take out all the Siege Tanks and Marines, maybe with this many medevacs. But even then, it was a perfect engagement, I think, that STX has. Oh no, it. he's dropping in the main, and in the natural, there are actually two more. Uh, there are two more bunkers and a whole bunch of barracks going down as well for STX. So he has not been ignoring his macro as well. During this engagement, he needs to be a little bit careful here. He needs to wait for those oh, bunkers to complete. Yes, SCVs going in. SCVs do not do well against this many Marines with Stim, and STX needs to fall back to the bottom. Excellent. Getting four Marines in the bunker that will provide him with an extra few valuable seconds. And we do have a mule being dropped by STX now as well. He feels he has won this. This is a huge army with the Marines and Sea Chanks. He could just leave a couple of units here and send the rest home if he wanted to at this point. STX is holding, but not for much longer at his natural expansion. He does, though, still have a thousand minerals in the bank. He will be able to pr produce two more command centers, and he has still got SCVs on the map that he might be able to sneak out. Yeah, so Illusion is going to clean up this natural base here, uh, but I mean, look at this army for STX. It's going back home. Yes, he did a lot of damage here. He ended up killing off all the SCVs, but there's no way that... I mean, I don't see STX. He's, will he get the SCVs away? That's going to be huge. Oh, wow. wow. Are there any left? No. No. How oh, did he the not command do center this? Fall, that's going to be really bad. It sh I don't think it Okay, this game has just taken a really, really weird turn because uh, STX had so long to get those SCVs out of his base. This army is about to get crushed, but note that Quantic Illusion has a command center mining with mules in the top center of the map. What is going on here? Yeah, I mean, I still think that STX has as the siege tank. He should have high. this, but he... This is this is a gamble. There's I'm a little bit surprised. Dropping for the repair. He's okay, going to save that. Go. Barracks lifting off. He still has plenty of production. Let's look at the production. We have, I don't think, anything. We have one barracks left for Illusion. If we look at the uh, the structures for STX, he still has three barracks. He still has a starport, which is very key. All, uh, all that has to happen is this gets scouted. And, uh, it, I mean, income tab, it's 11 to 1. So he's going to be able to <laughs> drop SCVs there. Ooh, with the starport fall, that's going to be a nice grab. Yeah, I mean, definitely it's not that. over. Uh, like I said, if STX keeps doing these little mistakes, then yes, we can come back, but it's very unlikely. I am so surprised that STX didn't try to get a couple of SCVs out there. The uh, command center, as you pointed out, Zoya, is now being repaired. He should be able to retake his natural, even go down to the third base location where there are more minerals to be mined. The supplies are now 28 to 48 in STX's favor. The work supply is 11 to 2, and the army supply is 46 to 17 in favor of STX. But as it currently stands, Without that starport, uh, unless STX decides to go and doom drop with everything, that central location is actually pretty much untouchable unless he destroys these middle rocks. Yeah, this is this is cool from Illusion. He has a chance, like we said. Uh, it's very key that we note that the starport was taken out. If STX was able to get out a couple Vikings, that would change everything. Be able to snipe these medevacs, and without these medevacs, Illusion is nothing. Um, so we should be, I, I want to see a, a tech lab on one of these barracks soon. We need to get that stem out. Stem would change every engagement. Right now, Illusion's been doing so well because STX doesn't have stem, he doesn't have combat shield. So a tech lab would be nice. There's a lot he needs to do, but 
it's going to be, it's, it's this is an interesting game to say the least. It is indeed. I mean, this is such a, look at this, the main base for STX is now actually halfway out in the middle of the map. This is just so strange. Illusion has retaken that top central base and it looks like a barracks, a factory and a starport are going down. It looks like we've been reset to about minute <laughs> six of the game where we see the starport coming out. This could be opening with Banshees, but of course this isn't actually what's happening at the moment. The medifacts so from bizarre, Illusion man. are moving out towards the bottom of that. That one Marine at the fourth base location actually scouting where the command center has just gone down for STX and Illusion is going to try with this drop play to see if he can take out more SCVs, but oh, attack is nice siege. siege take position there from SCX and be able to defend this. It ends up losing one Marine. If you take a look at that unit stab, eight Marines, five medevacs, 16 SCVs for Quantic Illusion. For Ghosts, XTS, five Siege Shanks, 26 Marines, four medevacs, four SCVs. Up to eight now, actually. Um, so You know, I just realized something, Zoya. What's that? With the current metagame, uh, considering how people consider mirror matches pretty boring on a lot of occasions, especially TVT when it used to be just Siege Tank Viking, I don't think I've seen a single boring TVT so far this entire tournament. Every single Terran versus Terran matchup has been unbelievably well, nailed. What by happens when one. you have amazing players in an amazing tournament casted by amazing casters with amazing viewers? You get amazing games, and that is what we're seeing right now. That's pretty true. I haven't seen a boring game yet, and even I cast a lot of DVZs this morning, and they were all <laughs> your favorite matchup. Very, up. very entertaining. Now, Zoya versus Zoya, <laughs> alive and kicking here at the Gigabyte Esports. Now this land. is actually going to be huge. Oh, He's sitting in smart. the main base. There are so many supply depots here. This will actually supply block STX extremely. He has no supply depots down here at all. That is so smart from Illusion, just dropping with those medevacs once again, of course, using that energy oh. to make sure these Marines are at full health, stimming to kill as many of the supply depots as humanly possible in STX now. Is he researching? Very supply blocked. <laughs> this has to be a blunder. Whoa. He, this has to be a blunder. All right, guys, so uh, <laughs> Caduceus Reactor now out for Illusion, but that means that all his medevacs start medevacs, with 25 extra energy. They yeah. will start with 25. So what he really needs to do to follow this up is maybe build some medevacs. We don't actually <laughs> see that out of him at the moment. And STX actually just finished I researching Cloak. I think he wanted cloak. to get Cloak. I think he wanted to get Cloak. Go for the Cloak Banshees. Cloak Banshees, and like every mule counts at this point. Uh, we do see Cloak Banshees from STX. Oh, nice scan. It barely gets it. away. And this is going to change energy. Everything. No engineering bay here for Illusion. So this Banshee can dart back in, do what it can. He is going to be safe with it. Go back home. Uh, these Marines in the main base for STX have killed off everything, so there's no more Marines. There's like nothing in production right now for STX. He's so supply Oh no, locked. there is no scan available, and this Banshee is wreaking havoc in the main base of Illusion. Well, a new main base, I should say. This Banshee's going to get so wow. many kills, and this Orbital Command still at 36 energy. is going to take absolutely forever to... Oh my goodness, this is horrible. The Banshee now slowly running out of energy and going to be walking out of there, but Illusion suffering a lot more SCV losses than he needed to there. He is still ahead though, 21 workers to 12. 26 minute mark now in this game. Both sides are getting cloaked. Believe it or not, Zoya, that's the second time this tournament I've actually seen a Caduceus Reactor being researched by a Terran player. However, the other time it was the fake cloak being researched, and as soon as the scout left the base, uh, they cancelled it, but this that time they actually got awesome. So maybe he forgot uh -oh. to cancel it. Siege Tank's getting a lot of blasts on these Marines here. STX not paying attention. One of the Banshees, or one of the Viking, or Medivacs does fall. He needs to be careful. Does he still not have Stim or Combat Shot? I don't think so, no. Wow, he's really I, I, ignoring <laughs> this that. Is gonna be, this is going to sound weird, but Illusion's in a great spot. Illusion's just taking the supply lead, man. This is, this is... <laughs> <laughs> if Illusion wins this game, man, this is, this is an insane, insane TVT. I, I can't believe this. STX finally getting over that supply block. He's still actually supply blocked with only one supply free. Still building those SCs, getting out more Banshees. Stim pack finally started. Yep, Look at the standard 27 minute timing. Yeah, standard, yep. tw standard 27 minute timing, Stim. We do have plus one weapons for the Marines here for STX. What are the upgrades for Illusion? I can't see the Marines right now. There are some on the map over here. They are 1-1, one, one, so, wow, I think, I, I'm going to, uh, wow, oh, Illusion is in a great spot. But look at this from STX. If it, a scan would enable the Siege Tank to hit those Marines, there we go, bam. And STX immediately doing that reaction there. I like that from him. It means that STX is going to be able to hold on to his mining base for quite some time. He is at 300 minerals. I'd like to see him possibly try and sneak in a second Orbital Command somewhere on the map because he needs oh, to Oh, he sniped the medevac up here. That is so huge. Nice. Setting three Marines up to hit that medevac. It need, it can't get out of here right now. It has to send the medevac down here, so these Marines are trapped. SX knows us. He is going up here to finish these guys off. We do have a Banshee with Cloak on the way down. We do have the Engineering Bay. Do we have any scans, though? No. So a lot of damage, but there is one turret, one turret for STX. These Marines finally being cleaned up. 
Nice timing on these Banshees, target firing more Marines, and the illusion is, wow, this is a, such a great Oh no, that him. Tech Lab is researching Stim. The 27 minute timing isn't actually going to help too much here, but we do actually have units chasing him down. It looks like that Banshee running away from Banshees for a second. That was highly amusing. And uh, he is going to know the exact location of STX's army as that Tech Lab does get cleaned up. One thing I want to point out that's really crucial, by the way, in this game, especially when both players have had their bases destroyed and moving back, look at the former natural expansion of STX, Zoya. One Marine slowly cleaning up buildings. If we take a look, aside from where he is building all his buildings now, STX does not have any other structures on the map. Now look back at where Illusion used to have his base. The armory is there, we have a supply depot in the, at the top. Both uh, gases are active in the natural expansion. We actually have a barracks. Oh, huge location. push here in the middle of the map. STX is not sieged up. He's oh, losing all of no. these siege decks. Raven's coming forward, going to prevent the Banshees from, getting, uh, from cloaking. This is so bad oh, for STX. Huge. Look at the supply plummeting for him. Illusion might just be taking the game right now. Everything's being devoured. Stim was not finished. It just finished. And oh, no. Supply 82 to 27. I can't believe it, but Quantic Illusion, GG, he just won two. Oh, oh, and the most insane game God. two I've seen in a long time. I swear, every TBT series here at the Gigabyte Esports land, absolutely crazy. The point I was going to touch on just before that final engagement, by the way, Illusion had so many buildings left on his yes. side of the map that STX wasn't cleaning up. But... Illusion sending just a single, just a couple of Marines to clean up the remaining buildings in the main and natural <laughs> of STX. He did a really good job there coming out of that. He really should have lost that game, but did you see how he came back into it, Zoya? That was amazing. It, I, my mind is blown right now. <laughs> uh, he, the, uh, STX was in such a great spot. Illusion's decision making, everything he did there, going to the main base to drop the constant harassment. Absolutely. He, he played that so well. That was exemplary play coming out of there from Illusion to get himself back into that game. And you know what makes casting these games much better? What's that? These TT Esports keyboards. Did you know that they have these cool little fans on them they that do. keep They'd their be hands keeping cool? keeping my hand cool. And I was sweating so much while watching that game. Man. Yeah, I know. My hands were all sweaty, but uh, <laughs> they made that cast much better. Check out TT Esports, one of our sponsors. One of the many sponsors our tournament has. You can check us out over on Liquipedia. Go to our thread on Team Liquid. That's right. And we are, of course, over at thegessel.com as well. So, guys, that was an absolutely insane TVT series here for you. We are going to be coming at you with another series shortly. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be playing some commercial breaks. And when we come back, another excellent series here from the next group here at the Gigabyte Esports line. I'm Zoya. See Don't you guys go soon. anywhere.